I make the wrong turn. Take the next left onto oh. 4th Street, then turn right that onto Recreation Park Road. Oh. Continue on Riverside Street for one mile. Going around the block. was that? I don't know. What's the trailer? Nose cap of the trailer. The cap seat. It's the nose cap of the trailer, I'm oh. telling you. Just getting this done, and then we'll be at a Bonner's Ferry and heading towards Grand Coulee. So yeah, only one minor uh, malfunction at the junction of the brain. Today, we are on our last stop. This is our final day, final full day in the U.S. of A. Today we are at Grand Coulee. We are going to the dam and we can tell you some fun facts about the dam. Okay, so I'm standing up here on top of the dam. just at the uh, sandy dump here in Bonner's Ferry. The uh, RV park that we stayed at did not have sewer, so we are doing it here. They sent us over here and it's free. So we uh, just getting this done and then we'll be at a Bonner's Ferry and heading towards Grand Coulee. So yeah, only one minor uh malfunction at the junction of the brain. Uh, I tried to turn around on the road because Google Maps sent us in the wrong direction. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Bonner Street. Take the next left onto Bonner Street, then slide left onto Recreation Park Road. Oh, that's Bonner. It's not Bonner. Did I make the wrong turn? Take the next left onto oh. 4th Street, then turn right that onto Recreation right there. Park Road. Oh. Continue on Riverside Street for one mile. Going around the block. I'm going to turn around right here. What's that? I don't know. What's the trailer? Nose cap of the trailer. The cap seat. It's the nose cap of the trailer, I'm oh. telling you and brought us to an 11 foot bridge. So we had to turn around. I made the turn a little too tight and scraped the nose cap with the rear quarter panel of the truck. Not major damage, but it didn't sound good with that fiberglass crumpling. Yeah, so I guess we'll show you that. I wasn't gonna mention it, Brent, so. Just a like little bit there. We'll just have to put a little gel coat or black paint on there or something. And then there's a little dent here in the fiberglass that uh, came off the tra trailer. <laughs> Is now in on the truck. So we're just going to wrap this up.
Good morning. So today, we are on our last stop. This is our final day, final full day in the U.S. of A. Yeah, tomorrow we head up to the border, but our vacation is not over. We'll update you on that uh, on the next video. So today we are at Grand Coulee. We are going to the dam, and we can tell you some fun facts about the dam. Uh, there is a laser show tonight. It's not till 10 o'clock, so... <laughs> Past our bedtime, so <laughs> hopefully we'll be there. Yeah. I should be fine. I don't know about this one though. <laughs> okay, let's go check out this dam. Yeah. So we're at the Grand Coulee Dam. You can see it behind me here. And I came here when I was a kid. I just don't remember any of this. I think this was before my little brother was born. So I'm, I was less than 10. So I'm not uh, really recalling. All of the trips I went on with my parents. We used to do a lot of driving when I was a kid. Oh, hello Brent. <laughs> so, here's a quick little ditty on that. We're gonna go and uh, learn some more about the whole premises behind this dam. I read a little bit in the visitor's guide last night, but uh, it uh, hasn't quite sunk in, so I'll uh, review it again and get back to you. So a little bit more about the dam. How much did it cost? It was constructed in 1933, actually from 1933 to 1940, at a cost of $300 million. Can you imagine that in that day? Um, the third power plant, tower, we're not sure where that is. <laughs> erected in 1967 and 1980, the cost is 700 million to build. So if it was built today, it would be costing 8 million, 8.26 billion dollars. And the other, apparently in the dam that when they first constructed it, there was two six foot wide the amount of concrete sidewalks that would go around the equator, I guess this way, <laughs> of the earth. So 12 feet of sidewalk all the way around the world is in that dam right there. But be four feet wide, wrapped around the earth twice, 50,000 miles. I thought it was six feet wide. Nope, oh, says right here, hon. Four feet wide. Okay. So I'm wrong. <laughs> and just for clarification, the third power plant is just that uh, piece directly across here. Okay. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no. One thing, uh, we're right here at uh, Grand Coulee Dam. And one thing that uh, is so cool that I've never seen before in my life is the way that these parking spaces are marked. All the ones along the edge are all straight, like everybody's used to, same as over where Miriam parked. But everything down the middle, as you can see, it's all rounded for people to basically turn around and on their way out. This is the visitor center at Grand Coulee Dam. And there's a beautiful picnic area. It looks like the grass is immaculate down below. Dogs are allowed here, so we should have brought our dogs, but we weren't sure if they were allowed here. And now we know they're allowed, so hindsight's 2020, but oh well. Uh, I think they're happier at home, back in the trailer, just uh, staying cool. Because it is right now, I believe it's around 27 Celsius, which is in the high 80s Fahrenheit. And uh, they wouldn't be comfortable for a dog. But it's just a beautiful view, as you can tell. We are about 100 feet lower than our last few pictures that we took. And we will be going down to the campground there in the picnic area to take a look from that angle as well. Generators. These are the small generators. 
top of the dam and um, it's really neat. So behind me is where the water upflows out. Those big metal tubes up on the hill behind me is the uh, where they pump the water out <laughs> and uh, it pumps into a canal that goes into, what was the name of that, lake, that reservoir? Burns Lake. Burns Lake, okay. So that's where that goes. Hello, hello. Are, you, are you chasing me, Brent? <laughs> uh, just doing a little bit of pre-recording. Re re Re-recording. Re okay. Um, and behind me is Roosevelt Lake. And I will tell you the story about the lake and why it's named Roosevelt, because it was called something else before. And uh, I'll tell you about that when I read up some more on those notes. <laughs> of the tour it's a little bit breezy up here I can keep my hat on but once I get close to the railing I'm gonna be taking my hat off just to give you a heads up right over here is Roosevelt Lake this is the south side of the Grand Coulee Dam in the center which is pretty much where we are right now it's 400 feet deep as you can see it is quite a large dam. Now, once we get to the other side, I'll be taking my lid off and showing you the spillway directly below us. This is quite the view. We saw it from the edges over here, on the side of that road over there. And took a few pictures. That, there's the visitor center right there. Uh, right there, yeah. Now, here we go close to the edge. And over. Yeah, oh yes, yeah, lots of rainbows. A lady on the tour with me just pointed out that there's lots of rainbows here. And the water is fairly high right now. That there is the third generator plant. Right, the view. Beautiful. In the parking lot, that's one of the generator plants as well. Okay, it looks like we might be loading back into our vans. They're like packed in there like sardines. So, not sure if I'd mentioned it earlier. Uh, we are on the east side of the dam right now at the uh, tourist, or the, the tour center. And there are four tours today, uh, actually every day until the end of August, I believe it is. Uh, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and 3.30. And, uh, we got here about 20 minutes before our tour started and everything was okay, but it did fill up. So I would recommend that you uh, get here probably a half hour to 20 minutes, 15 minutes before your scheduled tour time. And if not, you're gonna have to wait two hours for the next one. It's fairly informative. It's, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice thing to do over the uh, day, just to kill a little time and learn a little bit about uh, history of this area. This is the first pullout as you're coming down the hill towards the dam. And it's a really cute, uh, Brent's just talking about all the information that is on these signs and it tells you how far it is to each of these individual places. Right now we are just above Cooley Dam, just up the hill. 
and off in the distance here over my left shoulder you can see Roosevelt Lake one thing that like this little parking area here it it's a beautiful sight to see uh, lots of scenic views but one thing that I, I wanted to stop at or stop for is this is something I've never seen before um, it's got signage of each city and town in the area and the amenities that each of those have like currently over here we have uh, it's a list of all the churches in the area and the cities they're in this one here is for Steamboat Rock State Park and all of the amenities and services that they have whether it's washrooms boat launch swimming picnic tables uh, then the National Park or National Recreation Area here for no Lake Roosevelt Town of Electric City, City of Grand Coulee, Grand Coulee Dam, and so on. And it tells you the amenities that each place has. Uh, I don't know if this exists in other states or if it's just Washington State. It's just something that I'm not used to seeing and I had to say something because it's a fantastic idea. If somebody pulls in here and they're looking for a certain church or a casino in a certain town, or a boat launch, uh, or a place to go swimming, or bowling, or whatever. Uh, this is a great idea. And uh, whoever constructed this, kudos to you. I just couldn't help myself but noticing this lovely body of water below me. I'm not sure which one that is. I also noticed that on the Roosevelt Lake, just on the other side of that little um, roadway, there is a boat launch. So you can, I did see a boat, actually there's one sitting out there in the middle that I can see with my naked eye. He's way out there. Okay. <laughs> So I guess there's fishing and all sorts of things that occur here. As great as the dam is and as many um, people as it benefits, the First Nations, First Nations people that were here originally before the white man came along, they used to use the river for fishing and that sort of thing and they had to relocate highways and it sort of disrupted their, their fishing for this part of the um, river and it was 50% of their diet so I guess the salmon don't go up much beyond here there must be another way that they can they go so are you ready to go Brent yes ma'am you're done talking with about that uh, all the cool signs yeah it's all a right. general information area it's awesome all right well let's uh, get back in the truck and go have some lunch absolutely so we just got back from the Grand Coulee Dam visit and tour and we're just going to chill out here for the rest of the afternoon, upload some video from the cameras and maybe have a little power snooze and try and head back and watch the light show, the laser light show tonight it's on the dam. <laughs> yeah, the, right now at this time of year the light show starts at 10 p.m. because that's when it gets dark around here. <laughs> As we go in later into the summer, it's going to get darker a little bit later or sooner. So they move the time up a little bit in the different, in, I think it's the beginning of August, they change the time. And um, I was talking about Roosevelt Lake and it was called something else prior to 1945. It was called Columbia Lake because it was from the Columbia River and because they built the dam, the lake was formed. Um... So, other than the light show tonight, that concludes our time here at our time. At uh, Grand Coulee. Yes, and our time in the U.S. With tomorrow, yes. tomorrow morning when we head out of, out of Grand Coulee, we're heading north. We're going back into Canada. A little bit of time to, to do a little bit of property hunting and a few other things. So, join us up there. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. Don't forget to subscribe. And ring that bell for notifications. Bye for bye now. Bye-bye for now.
Okay, we just got back and I'm gonna go get the monopod. <laughs> so I'm just sitting out here. Brent went inside to do a couple of things and so I was just sitting out here thinking about um, some of the other things that you might want to know. I'm waiting for my toes to dry. I took the opportunity to relax and change my toenail color. Well, I haven't looking too close at those because I'm not super great at it. My toes are kind of a mess. I should go for a pedicure when we get back home. So just thought I would pop on here while I'm waiting for my toes to dry. And I can go in and cook some chicken that needs to be cooked today because I took it out of the freezer yesterday. So thought we were going to have that for dinner last night, but we ended up having Mexican food from a lovely little place. There's two Mexican restaurants. I can't remember either of their names right now. I will insert that here. The one we went to was the better of the two, I was t we were told, and it was delicious. Brent found it a little spicy. Uh, he had a pork burrito. I had some chicken enchiladas. That was really tasty. Anyways, um, this campground, Grand Coulee RV Park. I'm not sure where Brent found it. This is one of many places you can stay. The, there is a book which I have to track down, a visitor's guide, and I'm sure you could find it online too before you got here. And I picked up, grabbed one while I was grabbing our Mexican food to go last night. And I basically read through it and it told us that Grand Coulee is one of 11 dams in, on the Columbia River and it's the biggest one. As we mentioned earlier, it has a ton of concrete in there. Um, more is the biggest concrete structure, um, second biggest concrete structure in the world, the biggest one in the U.S. We're basically in the desert <laughs> on a hillside, and the girls are both sacked out beside me. The Wrigley's over there. You know, it's a perfectly good blanket there, Wrigley, but she's gonna sit right down on the ground. Bailey just moved over here underneath me. Where are you, Bailey? There you are. There's my puppy. Oh, Mom, it's so hot. <laughs> Looking at me like, Mom, leave me alone.